There we go. Nice one. guys we're out here at Lake Schaefer in Monticello Indiana uh, just spent the last two hours trying to find some gizzard shad chucking the cast net over and over and I'm exhausted now but we're out here after some catfish so we got a couple net fulls of gizzard shad so we're gonna go out here and try to find the catfish on the edge of these deep holes uh, it is December 28th air temperature it's a warm front coming through so it's supposed to hit 55 today uh, water temperature is 39.5 degrees um, we got a southeast wind of about 10 miles an hour, so we're going to use this bank to block us. We're going to go up here and try to find the water temperature that's a little warmer. Uh, if we can get a degree or two warmer than the rest of the lake on a deep hole, I think that's where these catfish are going to be held up. So uh, we're going to cruise around here, see if we can find some marks, and then get after it. And uh, hopefully we get some catfish on film for you. Circle hook did his job. Beautiful. God, I love wintertime catfish. Thank you. 
It's not fatty. been a killer day out here on Lake Schaefer uh, down in Monticello uh, I want to kind of tell you real quick what I did out here to uh, to catch these fish because it was not an easy day by any means even though there's a lot of fish uh, they're all at the end of the day here so it took me two two and a half hours just to find the gizzard shad uh, and cast net those when I finally got enough to fish with uh, I started out in the main lake in 20 to 22 foot of water was able to pull a couple catfish out of there uh, but could not figure out for life of me why I wasn't getting them. So I moved over here out of the... Just a second, I got a fish here. Alright, we got a fish on. Hang on. Watch you guys. I watch me reel this in. Position this right. So like I was saying, it took me to figure out what's going on with these fish, so I figured it out. Uh, over on the main lake, we had 39.1 uh, to 39.3 degree water, so I cruised around a little bit, and I got out of here out of the wind, and it's 41.1 degrees. It's almost a full degree warmer back here, or two degrees warmer back here. Um, so then I, I found the fish. I was on the fish, but I still wasn't getting the bite like the winter catfish bite, so what I did is... Uh, I started uh, cutting my shad in half and using more as cut bait in the head side 
Uh, and that was all the difference. So, I mean, it's been one after another after another. I could barely keep the rods in the water. So, things to take from this trip. One, find the warm water. Uh, two, uh, make sure you're using cut shad, not whole shad, uh, because that is the game changer. So, warm water, a degree or two warmer on a deep basin, and cut shad. And that was the trick out here. So, if you get a chance to come out here before it ices up, uh, follow those two steps and I promise you, uh, you're going to catch a lot of catfish.